All right, an updated class tier list. Let's go. Okay, let's start off with the tier ones. Of course, they are all going down to D. They are just the weakest class. But then if you are new, you should start with Arcane Mage. Only reason for that is because it is ranged. All right, next we got Dual Wielder. Gonna go S tier. Dual Wielder is still really strong. Um, if you are able to get full damage, I think it does the most DPS in the game. Only thing lacking about this class is the uh, mobility. And again, you do have to hit moves. For Elementalist, I'll put it at C. It has a lot of AoE, but then it's super slow. The casting, like this E move is pretty much useless. You can pretty much never hit it. The fireball is pretty cool. The lightning is pretty cool. But yeah, it's just really slow. There are better options out there. For Guardian, I'll put it at C class. I know there are some uh, Guardian users out there. And I might get a lot of hate for this. But then um, I think this class is a little overrated. Like I've try to use this class uh i don't i guess it's just not with my playstyle. i hear people saying it has crazy dps but then like the dps is like pretty trash but maybe it could just be my weapon because i do not have a zero weapon for this class all right next is paladin not gonna lie i will put paladin in c tier uh i don't know uh i get another class where a small minority of people who really likes it i think because of all the new classes uh paladin is just getting outshined like, it used to be really good. It used to be like a uh, carry tank class where like, when we still only had a tower one, this class was like, like every, every run, like you would want Paladin in your uh, group. Like, nobody uses this class anymore. And the only time you see people use this class is uh, they are just like Paladin mains, really. Okay, so next is Mage of Light. I will have to put Mage of Light in B tier. So like yes, this class has gotten a huge buff where uh, one R you get all your orbs red, and then like you do like crazy damage, like pfft. yeah, the, the damage is pretty insane. But at the end of the day, you are just a support class, and this is your only source of damage. Okay, so now we have Berserk. People might hate me for this, but I'll put it in A tier. The only thing that's keeping this class from being an S tier is it's just so slow, like the auto attacks. Your ability casts are super slow, and in like dual builder, you have no mobility. So like this class is pretty much just dual builder, but then you are way slower. For Dragoon, I will put it in uh, A tier. This might be at the bottom of A tier, really. Like even after the buffs that it had, like, I don't know, like, it still does not do much. Like the crits that you get are pretty cool, but then like this class is kind of like high risk, high reward if you ask me, because look, look at all these moves. You are always on the enemy. For a class that does that, I feel like you should, you know, be a little more tankier. So maybe class isn't the best uh, perk for your armor. Next is Demon. I'm gonna have to put Demon in uh, B tier. Again, kind of like uh, Dragon, like even after its buffs. I don't know, like it's just, like it doesn't do much. Maybe it's just the lack of players, but then like, so far, the times that I've tried Demon, like it just it does not feel any different. It feels the same. Um, I mean, it looks definitely it definitely looks way cooler now, but I think there are still way better classes out there. I think you should have a tankier build, so like maybe glass is not the best option for your uh, armor. Next, we have Spare Archer. You can call me biased, but then I'm gonna put Spare Archer on S tier, even above Dual Wielder. To be completely honest with you guys, like this class is probably my favorite class still. The AOE you have, the uh, range, like this class is just really good for like soloing. You should definitely use Archer as your uh, grinding class. And like you are pretty much always safe. Like if you get caught by mobs with this class, I do not know what to say. Even after the nerf on uh, the spirit bomb, it's still really good. Like all you need is black butterfly and then like you're pretty much good. The only downside to this class is that the boss damage is pretty garbage. Okay, next is Warlord. Uh, I'll put Warlord above Dragoon in A tier. I don't know if uh, this class has gotten a nerf or whatnot, but I remember this class being a lot better than it, uh, it is now. Maybe it's because of the uh, ultimate of this move. You know, uh, it's pretty like underwhelming. So yeah, like until I see people use it more, um, it's gonna stay in my A tier. Okay, so Summoner. It is going to uh, S tier above Archer. This class is really, really good. Um, your M1s are really fast. And just like this move right here itself, like it's super strong. Like 48,000 per tick. 
And for these summons, like, you should also uh, have a good position for them as well. Summoner is still a really good class though, like, it's easy to use, and it's like, super OP. Last is Shadow Blade, and of course, it will be at the top of the S tier. Like, I know there are like a fair share of people who do like just dislikes this class, like, especially dual wielder mains. I, I don't know, it's just like an unspoken thing, but then like, if, it, it seems like, hey, like, Shadow Blade mains and dual wielder mains just have beef, really. <laughs> and from my experience, uh, this class is way better than dual wielder. You still get that times two pet damage. In my opinion, what makes uh, Shadow Blade way better than dual wielder is the uh, Shadow Cloak. The fact that you can escape sticky situations just from a click of a button, like, it's it's insane. And like, you just do a ton of damage as well. Of course, the DPS is not as high as uh, Dual Wilder, but this class is like, for sure, far easier to use. It's faster, again, it has more mobility. Also, if I'm not wrong, you can get the crit damage and the 20% damage buff from Shadow Mode from both Shadow Leap and your uh, Shadow Strike. You definitely can, but then you have to be like super quick with it though. Okay, so yeah, uh, this is my tier list right here. Comment down below if you think a class should be higher than it is or lower. But yeah, this is my opinion, so uh, be a little nice to me in the comments. <laughs> and of course, you can main whichever class you want. It all depends on your playstyle. Check out this video if you want to see me get more in depth with it. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, y'all.